Hello everyone, Coach Lockie here. We're at Las Colinas. I say we, me and Mark Crossfield. Welcome. Your short game's got better. Thank you. And it's frustrating. Is it annoying you? It is yours annoying. yours has gone a little bit the wrong way, isn't it? Mine's terrible. Considering where it was, it's, it's now like, I would say a mine's- handicap stuff. No, it's not. It is. Mine is a little better than yours at the minute, but that's not testament to how much I've come up, more how far you've <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need some loving in the area. So talk me through why yours is better so then I can go and practice a bit more because I've never had to do this bit. Well, there you go. Come like on. It. I mean, you've just said it there in one. I mean, lockdown oh, transformed look. it. Just stop. I basically practice chipping a lot in my garden, lucky enough to have a garden where I could chip in during the lockdowns. And I've started to find feelings that I had when I used to play. Yeah. So um, so I, I was lucky twofold. A, I had the time to practice and can practice. And B, I'm just trying to recall things I've had. If I was trying, learning new things is a different skill, I think, to then trying to recall what you know you've done before, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So I was hitting some chips and thinking, oh yeah, I remember feeling that way. And it's not as good as it used to be, but it's definitely getting closer to a stage where I'm now not even thinking. Absolutely. Look yeah, at that I'm just again. Like, I'm stood here and I'm, I'm not even seeing landing spots. I just kind of stand here and think like, that's going to do it's that. It's like about there. Yeah. And I would do like with this, I would not, I'm just going to go, it's like about there. Yeah. And that's what I used to chip like as a kid. Because I putt a bit like that as well. Yeah. Not I do line up, but I'm not. I'm just like over there, about there kind of stuff. Because at the moment, like we've played two days now, haven't we? Yeah. And I've got to most of my chip shots and just thought, how, what's the best, easiest way to not make a fool of myself? And I was never like that. Yeah. And I haven't played for five weeks on the course, and I haven't hit a chip between that time. Yeah. And I feel like that is where it's just going and disappearing. If I spent three hours a day a week on the chipping green like it would just get better obviously yeah you, i would mess around and try Find stuff feelings, wouldn't you? but like i'm going to like the low shot you've gone so low and i hate it because it feels like when i used to and still do have shots this way but it's like you're hitting chips thinking don't miss the green yeah you're not hitting chips thinking oh you know should i get them or can i tap it in or you know, I've, you're in a chip thinking more about the next one. Yeah, yeah. Being yeah. hopefully not another not, chip. <laughs> and I'm also like, where I used to be good, I would always be like speed and not worry. Yeah, if I you've gone. You, I've just gone like, how smooth can I hit this? Yeah, and get yeah, it on? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's bad, yeah. isn't it? I literally need some practice time set aside, I think and to try and find something out of my comfort zone again. Yeah, you like, do. And I'm not even reading lies well. Like when we're in the vision fluffy goes. stuff, it's like, this is like high up on the grass. Do I hit this hard or do I protect? And it's like, I never would think this way. Yeah. And if I was to find some practice time, this is kind of what I would do. I would literally just be thinking strike first. Yeah because I don't want to get to a shot and have to think that I want to hit it well. That's like, so key. At the moment, key. I'm like just thinking that as Please well. Please don't duff. Please don't fin. It. Don't hit it on the face. Yeah. Oh. So I would literally be here trying to strike chips over and over again with solid strike. Yeah. Not even thinking about target. Yeah. Don't think about distance. Like, don't even have to chip on a green. Yeah. Um, so I would literally just be here trying to hit 10, 20, 30, 40 shots in a row with good strikes. If you've got a comfort area that you like to swing to, possibly try and get your balls landing in the same sort of distance with that good strike. And as you start to build that confidence up and you get that strike back, then you start to add some targets in and start to vary your practice up. Look, it's already coming back. Look at those three. Tight. That's such a good point. I mean, the thing that I worked on was exactly that. It was just in a garden situation. I just wanted to be able to strike it the same way each time. Yeah. 
and I actually worried like have I lost my feel of distance yeah yeah because I wasn't chipping it close because strike was so poor um, but then as soon as strike comes back like I hit chips now and I still hit bad ones but when I hit when I chip half decent I think God, I don't even know how I chip that like, I'm <laughs> amazed that I've chipped that that close yeah yeah I, I couldn't articulate how I did it I just kind of was able to go you know that there yeah but if the strike is anywhere consistent then you can actually do that yeah i totally agree otherwise uh, you're worrying about everything landing spot strike can i hit the right distance and imagination's now gone you uh, don't see slopes you don't see where the ball's running because you're just so focused like in here yeah and like at all the runoffs that you're scared you're gonna hit. <laughs> like you say there, when you think back to when we were amateurs and stuff, like there were no bush nulls and zappers, were there? No. You were literally going on, that looks that far, bang. Yeah. All feel. You paced them everything. from the markers if you had them all book. The fairways or it whatever. It was rough, yeah. And then you would literally, and I, you would go bang, hit it close, I don't know how I've done that, but yeah. I've just worked out that it's that far and I'd do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's what I kind of need more of in me again. Yeah. Um, finding that time to... It's finding time, isn't it? Yeah, commit some of your practice time to finding strike with wedges, even if you're not just finding exact distances. Yeah. Is just going to be so much better when you get on the course. Because I've definitely put time to my longer game, like my irons recently, yeah. and they've been good. Driver is coming and like it might get better. yeah yeah, <laughs> we yeah. Know I might. struggle with it <laughs> I like the word but might if, if I start to now focus on this again I'm sure it will come back and I'm sure my short game will be better than you and I'll have magic again <laughs> let's hope <laughs> literally hope <laughs>